Another form of anesthesia is regional anesthesia. There are two different types. One is a spinal jab and the other is an epidural. Regional anesthesia is used to numb only the portion of the body that will undergo the surgery. Usually an injection of local anaesthetic is given in the area of nerves that provide feeling to that part of the body. A spinal anaesthetic is used for lower abdominal, pelvic, rectal or lower extremity surgery. This type of anaesthetic involves injection of single dose of the anaesthetic medicine into the area that surrounds the spinal cord. The injection is made into the lower back, below the end of the spinal cord and causes numbness in the lower body. It works very quickly. You can't move or feel your legs. It is administered in the operating theatre. This type of anaesthesia is most often used in orthopaedic procedures of the lower extremities. The anaesthetic lasts about two hours. During the operation, you are awake. You cannot see anything, but you can hear what is going on. If you are anxious, it is possible to be sedated so you can sleep during the procedure. Ask the anaesthetist who is present at that time. The epidural anaesthetic is similar to a spinal anaesthetic and is commonly used for surgery of the lower limbs and during labour and childbirth. This type of anaesthesia involves continuously infusing an anaesthetic medicine through a thin catheter, hollow tube, in your back. The catheter is placed into the space that surrounds the spinal cord in the lower back, causing numbness of the lower body. Epidural anaesthesia may also be used for chest or abdominal surgery. In this case, the anaesthetic medicine is injected at a higher location in the back to numb the chest and abdominal areas. Many people are a bit anxious about having a spinal injection. Afterwards, most people say that it wasn't bad as expected. One risk of a spinal is that it doesn't work sufficiently, but it will be tested before surgery to make sure it does. If it doesn't work enough, the anaesthetist will give you some extra medication via the IV drip. People are scared that they will be paralysed after a spinal injection. The chance of this happening is very small.